Hi and welcome to this clip where I'm going to take you through how to use um, Excel from Office 2019 to make a, a graph of your data. So I've screenshotted um, some time and volume data from a worksheet which I'll just click on and show you. Uh, so just coming up to the top here, it's about a gas collection method and you can see the table there. So if I go back onto here, I'm just going to put um, time and make this column slightly bigger by just hovering between J and K, dragging it to the right, and I can call that volume of hydrogen. I need to put in units, so I'm going to put seconds, um, for volume of hydrogen, I'm going to put in centimeters CM3. Now, unfortunately, in Excel, you can't make that. Um, superscript, but you can make that a little bit bigger, like so. So now we've got two columns, and we can put in the time data. And also the volume data. What I want to do is to make a, a graph of this. So if I just drag the slider over slightly and I literally just drag over these two like that, I can go to insert and I go to charts and I choose the one that says scatter. I click on that and I choose the one that has a line on it. So that instantly gives me quite a nicely plotted graph that's done for me. Now, I need to change the chart title, so I'm going to change that to time in seconds versus volume of hydrogen gas, and then CM3 again. But this time, I can click on the 3, highlight it, and do Control Shift Plus to turn it into superscript, so it actually looks like centimeters cubed, like it should. Now, you'll notice there's a little plus sign on the graph. So if I just click on that plus sign, what that may, enables me to do just there we go, get the plus sign outside the graph. Now I can choose the chart elements. So if I left click on axis titles so I can tick that box, that now allows me to have um, labels for my axes. So the, the x-axis is going to be time, obviously, in seconds. And the y-axis, we click on that, and then just drag over where it says axis title to get rid of the writing. And you can actually write vertically. It'll do it automatically for you. So I'm going to put volume of hydrogen gas in brackets C and 3. And I can again highlight the 3 like this, and then do Control shift plus turn it into superscript like it should be. Now, I want all of this on a Word document. I'm going to use Word to put in, to insert a little line as a tangent at time equals zero. So I've highlighted that area and I copy, go into Word, and I paste it. Okay, now it's slightly off the page. That's not a problem because what we can do is just find the little icon that represents the whole table and just drag it over a bit, like there. Now, we need to insert a line um, at the origin. So I'm trying to insert a tangent, so I choose shapes and I choose line. And I literally just drag my cursor to here and put a line roughly at the origin. So now I'm just gonna drag it so it's in slightly more precise setting. Like that. And it needs to be at the gradient of the of the actual line. Okay, now if we look at where the line goes to, we just keep following it, there we go. We can do um, dy over dx, and from that we can get the um, the gradient at that point. Okay, 